Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we're going to talk about flight modes and specifically for flaps and a nice way to set up your flight modes to make it easier to adjust in the air. The first thing I'm going to show you is the basic way that most people set up their flight modes for flaps. So generally, let's go over here to output and you fly your plane and you have your flaps set up. The first thing you do obviously is trim for a straight level flight. So with the flaps up, let's say I required a bit of up elevator. There it goes. Okay. So now when you hit your flap switch, then it goes back to zero because they're independent per flight mode is the way that you have it set up normally. And so now you're going to have to adjust at half flaps. Let's say it requires some down. And let's say it required quite a bit of down. Now, if it did require a lot of down, you're going to be worried when you hit your flaps full because it's going to go back to zero. And now you have even more flaps and you have to give it even more down. Max reach. So... There's your half, there's your full, and then there's your flaps up. So this is the basic way that most people set it up. They set up independent per flight mode. I'm going to show you another way. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up and go to a model file that's already set up and show you what it does. So I called up a new model file, and this one's already set up. I'm going to go into model and go to outputs. And as you can see, I've got zero trim. And let's just say that this plane required a bit of a uh, down elevator. Now, when I go to half flat position, it keeps my trim. And all I need to do is add to it. And then when I go to full flat position, it keeps my half flap trim. And all I got to do is add to it. So this will save you on a plane that requires a lot of flap to elevator compensation. Okay, so next thing I'll do is I will go ahead and start again on a brand new model file and we'll build this all the way through. Okay, so I created a new model file and I created it with no flaps because personally, I like to use a free mix to create flaps. And I did a video on um, flaps and that explains why, but I'm going to do it the same way in this video. So if I go into model and I go into mixes, it's just ailerons, elevator, throttle, and rudder. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a flap mix. I press anywhere in here and I add. And it's, I'm going to use a free mix, not a flat mix. And I'll just put it in the last position. Let's name it F L A P S. Source will be my flap switch. And let's say it's two channels. So I'm going to go to channel count, make that two. Output one will be the first available. Yes. And output two will be the next available as well. So it's channel six and seven for my flaps. And then I go ahead and set up my flap limit. So just be careful because when you power up your model, right now, if your switch was in that position or that position, it will go to the extremes. So if you look at the outputs, it'll go to the extremes. And you may burn out a servo if it mechanically limits it. So what I like to do is I like to make sure I'm in the middle position. So it's at the zero neutral position first. That's generally safe. Um, but the next thing that I do is I like to go down here and add a new action. And the action that I want is a curve. And this is where I set up my flap limits. So I'll go ahead and create this and then power up my receiver. And the type, I want to add a new one. And let's name it FLP limits. Oops. And the type is custom. It'll be 
three points for the three different flap switch positions. And notice that when you create a curve, it starts all the points at zero. So no matter what I hit on the switch, it'll always be in the middle position. So now it's actually relatively safe to um, go ahead and hook up your receiver, turn it on and hook up your flaps. All right, so now I just go over here to points and I go ahead and adjust for the three points. So this is flaps up and now I adjust with the plane on until my flaps up is correct. So let's say it's gonna be somewhere around there. And then I flip over to point two and I adjust my flaps until I get my half flap position somewhere around there, let's say, and then go to point three, flaps down and make that my flaps full adjustment, say, say somewhere around there. And now I have my flaps working. I'll get out of this, go back to the mix page and I'll add a new action. And this is where I do my slowdown. So let's go ahead and do action. We'll do slow. And let's make it two seconds. Two seconds, there it goes. Okay, so um, as I explained in, in my previous flaps video, the order of operations in a free mix determines where something happens and how it affects everything else. So what I like to do is I like to take curve and move it above weight and take slow and move that to the top of the list and then now it'll function correctly. So if I look at my flaps now, it'll take two seconds because I have my slowdown set to two, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, there it goes, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and if I go all the way up, it'll be double the time, which is four seconds, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. And if you have your slow in the list, at the top curve, then wait, then the time will be accurate. All right, so we created our, our main flat mix. The next thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up my flight modes. So I'll get out of this and I'll go into flight modes first and I'll do three flight modes. So flight mode uh, zero will be my default flight mode, which is correct, and that'll be the flaps up position. Let's add a new one and name it half. FLP for half flap. Active condition will be the switch in this position. Fade in and fade out. If you do exactly half of your slowdown value, then this will work exactly the same. So essentially, the way that I think it works is um, you're fading in to a flight mode and fading out of another flight mode. So if you add those two together, it'll be two seconds. And that's what I have set for my slow. Um, up and down time in a mix. Let's add one more. Call it full, F-U-L-L -L, space F-L-P. Active condition, switch in the full flat position. Same thing, one second. All right. So now, generally, what you would do is you'd go over here to trim and go to trim elevator and then you can also add aileron as well if you want to do ailerons but let's just say that uh, i'm just going to do elevator for this example change the mode from easy mode to independent that's what you would normally do but in my case i'll go to custom and when you hit custom you add a new item at the bottom of your trim called behavior now this is where you do the whole um, the default value from the previous one will uh, follow the next one. So I'm going to go over here to add a new behavior. And now my switch position I want will be flight mode. So flight mode, I'm setting up for half. So let's go to flight mode half position. And the action that I want over here is going to be offset plus default. Default being the previous one, which is the default um, 
flight mode of zero, it'll have that trim plus whatever I offset on top of it. Let's add a new behavior. And the next one that I want will be flight mode. And we'll choose the full flap flight mode. And oh, the previous one didn't change. This one, I thought I changed it. Should be offset plus default. And then this one should be flight mode one plus offset. There it is, offset plus flight mode one. So this one is offset plus default, default being the flight mode zero, which is your regular trim. And then in other words, it'll have the regular trim when I hit the switch, and then now I can offset it a, a bit more. And then flight mode two will be flight mode one's trim plus the offset. So let's take a look at the output now. Model outputs. And we're just gonna concentrate on elevator. So since I didn't do anything, everything should be zero, okay? So what I wanna do is made into plane, I fly it, and let's say I gotta give it some down elevator on the, on the maiden. There it goes, so let's say 4.3 right there. So now when I flip this switch, if you had independent per flight mode, it would go back to zero, but because you have offset plus default, it stays at 4.3. Now I just add more. And then when I go to full, let's go to full. It just keeps this number, and then now you offset more. Max reach. So now I have three different trim positions for this uh, flap switch. And because I did my timings right, I did the proper order of operations then the timing should be the same as my flaps moving down. There it goes. All right, so that's pretty much it. Just another level of complexity that does make your life simpler when you're setting up your flaps and your flap to elevator setup. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in this video or feel free to email me at jose at freesky-rc.com. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a good day.